Hi all, this is Lori Sebastian, and like most of the world, I fell in love with ChatGPT. I love how you can converse with it, it can come back with information, it was really great. I thought that it was an interesting way to sort of view the world of search and find information uh, differently than what Google has uh, presented to us. And before that, it was Microsoft and Netscape and Internet Explorer and all of that. This is almost like an ex-browser experience. And I, I wanted to enjoy that more than what I have going on currently. Ah, oh, however, once I started using Chat GPT, it really started to show some of its flaws, as well as some of its great benefits. So, to get to the point, once I started using Chat GPT, it was pretty clear that it was great at historical information and not so great at current real-time information, um, and or anything that's that's current. So, current weather was terrible at current date was wrong, current time was wrong, but if you ask it for historical information, like how large is the Empire State Building, or where are the pyramids, it will come back with correct information that was easy to digest, explained well, and it was amazing how well AI has been integrated with that project. So, I wanted to enhance the chat GPT experience and come up with something that did more more of the things that chat GPT does poorly do those things well and integrate with chat GPT and boom give myself a full experience so I can talk to it all day and be happy um, so that's what we're talking about and in installing today this is my project that integrates ChatGPT with other notable APIs. And it's called Bada Bing. I'll explain where this Bada Bing and why does it say make your bot talk uh, shortly. But essentially, I'll just read what, what I wrote. And hopefully this time I don't have any typos in it. But Bada Bing, in a nutshell, is a text-to-speech AI information tool. It is driven by natural language, AI technology processing voice to text with information integrations and corrections from popular APIs including ChatGPT, OpenWeatherMaps.org, NewsData, and Google Cloud. So, as I mentioned, once it's installed, you can converse with it and ask it things like, what's my date or what's my time? or what's my weather, and get back accurate responses. And then when you sort of deviate and start to ask it more, more historical information, or um, it will then query ChatGPT and get that information back and read it to you. It won't uh, necessarily uh, return it back to you as text. This is for conversing. This is for talking to your computer, which is what everybody wants to do. Right? Well, maybe not. Maybe everybody wants to talk to their rover. Well, my company makes robots. And we have computerized rovers. And spybots. And I wanted to make them talk. So this software for me is a little bit different than it would be necessarily for other people. Because... I wouldn't be talking to my computer. I would be talking to one of my rovers. So here, this project was created to integrate with the Micro Mini Monsters and the Mega Monster line of spy bots and computer-enabled robots. So this is where I'm loading mine, and my computer-enabled rovers um, would be running uh, at this point on Windows, um, either Windows 10 or Windows 11. And this software runs on them. And so they run around and I talk to them. And um, as opposed to sitting and talking to my computer. So that's the difference. Um, but it does run on Macs and regular Windows PCs. So for you, you can talk to your computer. For me, I will talk to my rover. So 
here we go. Here's some interesting things that Bada Bing can do that ChatGPT in its native form cannot do is, as I've mentioned, correct weather. Uh, so you can say, computer, what's my weather? Or computer, uh, what's my local weather? And it will come back uh, with the proper weather forecast based on your zip code. You can ask the computer, what's my day or what's my date? And it will come back with the actual accurate date. If you query ChatGPT for this, it will not come back with the correct answer. Um, you can also query it for the weather in a different zip code, say 90210, because you're heading out to Beverly Hills. And it'll give you the current weather for uh, that zip code. You can have fun with this. You can have it. You can say, computer, play Jeopardy, and it will play Jeopardy with you. And you can also say, computer, make me laugh, and it will make you laugh. I will challenge anyone to not laugh when it tells you a joke. They are funny. Um, if you say, computer, random news, it will go out and fetch a news story and read it back to you, uh, which is oddly strangely, weirdly, much more informative than me going out to say Reuters or the New York Daily News uh, um, or New York Times web pages and finding news. See, when I'm doing it, I'm specifically looking for a news story of my interest, supposedly. But when you ask this to, to get a random news story, it's not necessarily something you would have paid attention to. And it's always interesting information. It proves that what we think we want, we don't necessarily, it doesn't necessarily help us. We have to open ourselves up to more experiences and to hear things that um, perhaps we would not have naturally gravitated to. So random news has turned out to be a very interesting feature. Now, because I'm loading mine onto a rover and I would be taking my rover out with me, which... I know it makes everybody who's listening to this very jealous because all of us want to take out a rover as opposed to a real person, uh, especially since this one will speak more accurately than any real person. So you can actually believe it. But um, say we're out and someone comes over and starts harassing us. The great thing about Bada Bing is that software is that we can then ask the rover to sort of handle that problem for us. And we have two ways of doing it. Here we go. So I added two features. Computer talk smack. And the computer will say some things that perhaps the person standing there would probably not like. And that would deter. However, if they're persistent and harassing and still won't leave us alone, well, we can say, computer, we have a problem. And then... Well, things get nasty and much more hostile. And the person who's standing there is most likely going to feel very much more inclined to skedaddle, get out of there, and leave you alone. Especially since you can make your rover chase after this person yelling at them. Oh, sorry. Uh, back to being serious. Um, another feature is computer, emergency, emergency. So assuming that your rover is nearby, why wouldn't it be? When an emergency occurs, you can yell out, computer, emergency, emergency, and the rover will start to play an emergency notification so that the folks around will understand that something of uh, importance is happening and that they should um, come to your aid. So now if you have any questions to ask it that are historical or encyclopedic in nature, well, then you can say computer. How tall is the Empire State Building? Or computer, how do you make vanilla pudding? And it will reach out to ChatGPT and retrieve your answer and read it back. So that's the difference between ChatGPT native and Bada Bing software is that this one will actually scan what you're asking for and not just throw out an answer. 
it will um, do its best to retrieve um, your information and do it in a fun and playful way and uh, give it back to you in a way that uh, you know you find digestible. Another interesting facet of this whole thing is that you can control uh, the accent of the actual uh, speech. So English accent, I mean British accent, an Australian accent, an Indian accent, or um, a U.S. accent, which I don't know, is U.S. have an accent? But a non-accent of the U.S. speaking person, um, you can actually control that. So if you want your bot to sound British, it will sound British. Or Australian, it will sound Australian. Or Indian, it will sound Indian. So it's very interesting. Um, puts us in a, a, a different place with this whole thing. And again, becomes enjoyable and may, dare I even say, addictive. Okay, so that's our project today. We're going to be installing the Bada Bing software onto our bot. And the information on how to install the software is right here on the GitHub page. And uh, it will run natively on a Mac. So here's the information on installing it on a Mac. But uh, for Windows, it needs a virtual box. So here's the, uh, or virtual machine to run locally on the Windows machine. So here's the information on how to install it using VirtualBox and Vagrant. And if you want to run this on a Mac, as a virtual machine, you can. Here's the information on how to install it using VirtualBox and Vagrant on um, your Mac. Okay, we're going to get to it, and uh, I'll be back.